As we talked about a couple of days ago, interest rates heading higher could be a reason for a pullback in this market. See a slight pullback today on the charts. This strategy looks at 52-week highs and lows and takes the difference on those. And you see this breakout of 404 new lows and 34 new highs today. And the spread difference was minus 370. That means 370 more new lows and new highs on the 52-week on the NYSE. And so you see um, times when it's done that in the past and some selling. You, know, you see the selling that occurred here. That was in January. Um, you see the selling that occurred here in this time frame. Not a big sell-off, just a pullback. Uh, you know, not a not anticipation of a big bear market, but a pullback. And so higher VIX, um, our short short term short trading uh, short trades did well in this time frame when this happened and VIX went up. So this strategy right here, it looks for this. It's only taken. This is just a guideline strategy. We're not trading this strategy. We basically look at the 52-week high and low, and when it breaks below minus 200, we look for short trades. Um, and then when it breaks above 200, we look for long trades again. We say the trend is up. So when the trend is up, we look for long trades. When the trend is, is when, when the uh, strategy is short, we look for uh, short trades. Say the trend is down. When the strategy is long, we say look for long trades. And so this is one example of how you can use a strategy as a trend indicator. So you see um, this strategy, um, long and short at different times, you could use this to say, okay, I'm going to take long trades in this time frame, short trades in that time frame, long trades in this time frame. And so now it's not short, but it's looking for to get short on a new rally, highest high the last 12. And then when it does that, you can look for short trades. So you have time. And then you, you oftentimes see an increase in the VIX. So the reason I tell you that is to um, tell you about Tick Pulse, the original version that we're trading, um, took these short trades. It's had some success on the short side. Uh, two short trades hitting its profit target, and then another trade hitting its stop loss. And so there was plenty of room to, um, a lot of times we get short, it gets right back in. And so it would have been better to, um, you know, get in at a higher price and then get out at the, get out at new lows somewhere in here. But this is the way the base strategy works right now. And simple things like this are often challenging to modify. But um, nice day on Tick Pulse. Other strategies were down, um, some crude oil strategies. And so Tick Pulse is one to watch coming up with this new VIX, higher interest rates, and this new low breakout. So keep, keep an eye on that and you know look for... Look for good short day trades while this VIX is high. And then if the uh, market rallies again and there's more new highs than new lows, um, if, this, if this rally, if you see the orange up here, the new, high, new highs start to surge again, then can maybe look for the long trades again. But you see that um, they've, it's been down since January when we had sell-off. It has not really recovered to a raging new highs, 52-week new high type of market that we saw all throughout 2017. So that's the update for today on the stock indexes, new interest rate highs, short-term uh, short-term highs, multi-year highs actually, and tick pulse.